Royal Rumble go home show for SmackDown. 2.5 million viewers. Largest since August 25th when they did that Bray Wyatt Terry Funk tribute show. A .71 in 18 to 49. Also the highest since that tribute show. So that show did very, very well. And then uh, Rampage, 382 and a .13, which was uh, second highest uh, 18 to 49 of 2024, .13. And as noted, the Collision Show, 300,000 and a 0.06, the all-time record low. So uh, those are the numbers for this week. Tonight's NXT... And they got a show this weekend. It's Ely dragging out Trick Williams face-to-face. Noam Dar versus Von Wagner for the Heritage Cup. Lola Vice, Electra Lopez, Roxanne Perez, and Tatum Paxley. I'm looking at that storyline over with. Dusty Rhodes, Tay, Classic Semifinals, Cruz and Joaquin versus Carmelo and Trick. And the alleged goodbye to Chase U is uh is the deal so the the lineup for the ple this weekend <laughs> we've got braun breaker and baron corbin versus whoever wins tonight and could be braun breakers last night as a main main performer on nxt you can always go oh, back lone wolf dog my guess is he's uh he's probably moving up although sean michaels is saying i don't know i got lots of stuff he can still do down here you don't say. Yeah. I could think of a lot of stuff for Braun Breaker to do down there as well. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Tony D. Stacks and uh, Adriana versus OTM and Jada Parker. That could be something else. Oh, my. Oba Femi Dragon Lee for the NXT title. Lyra versus Roxanne for the NXT women's title. And Ilya Dragunov versus Trick Williams. Now, a card. I like that. I see that... Ely Dragunov and Trick Williams, you know, that might have been when they were going to pull the trigger and Carmelo screws Trick Williams out of the title, and then we go from there. But after SmackDown on Friday, when, you know, they were beating down old Carmelo and they hit Trick Williams' music and that place went nuts. He was way more over than Carmelo. And it was not... It did not go unnoticed within WWE how over Trick Williams was. I think there's a decent chance now that he wins. And once he wins, now Carmelo's really mad. And that's the way the storyline goes. And they build up to the big title match at WrestleMania with Carmelo trying to win the title from him. Which he shouldn't win. He should lose and go to the main roster. He's basically there already. But I think that we could see Trick winning the title at uh, Vengeance Day. So that is coming up. Notes from Raw, the opening segment was CM Punk. Punk's promo was great. He talked about, you know, not getting his WrestleMania main event. He may never get it, he said. May haunt him for the rest of his life. But he said that, you know, there's... uh, This is a flesh wound. There are real fights in this world. Like his friend Chad Gilbert, who had cancer and had a wife and daughter, was always in a good mood, never down about it. And so out comes Drew McIntyre, and he says, you know, I can relate to your buddy Chad. And then he drops the line about, I prayed for this, and it happened. And so they get into a brawl, and Drew gives him the big headbutt, starts stomping on his bad arm, and Sami Zayn runs down, makes the save, and helps Punk to his feet. So, well, there are a few things. Nowadays, they don't, they, don't, they don't say things or do things unless there's a reason for saying it or doing it. And they made a very big point of the fact that Sami Zayn, and I can't even believe this. I mean, maybe somebody can look it up, but they insist it's true. Sami Zayn has never beaten Drew McIntyre ever in a one-on-one match. Is that true? That's what they said. So... I think that if they do put the title on Drew, you got you got two big things that you can do. One of them is the CM Punk feud over the title, which uh, one would presume would happen. But your backup is Sami Zayn and Drew McIntyre for the title, 
with the idea that Sami Zayn has never beaten Drew McIntyre in a singles match before. So I think they've got a plan A and a plan B. Because, quite frankly, I mean, CM Punk tore his tricep in the first match he wrestled. It wasn't the first. He had two house shows. But, like, the first televised major match he wrestled, he got hurt. And he's going to rehab and everything. But it's not like this was his first injury. He had another torn, torn triceps. He injured his foot. I mean, what else did he have? I think he had others on top of that. But the point is, there's no guarantee that Punk is, is going to come back and be able to have a long run. So you should have a CM Punk plan in case he can come back and, you know, go on. Or you need a plan B. Well, what if he can't? And building up this one with Sami Zayn, I think, is, is a good option. Well, look, I think Zayn should get a championship run this year. It doesn't seem like there's any reason that he shouldn't. You know, depending on what you're going to do with Cody and what brand he's going to be on and, and all that sort of stuff. I mean, if he's going to be, I mean, again, if Drew McIntyre is the baby face and you decide, again, either either way with Damian Priest, you can keep Sami Zayn lodged right into that storyline the same way you can impart Jey Uso or whoever you wanted to also into that storyline as well because you got Jay and, and Drew who still don't like each other. You got Jay and Sammy who have a relationship. You got Jay and Damian Priest who, again, you can you can always create something there. So, you know, they're in a, a pretty good spot that way. So, you know, I, <laughs> again, I'm looking at, you're looking at the chat. I don't know where the... I didn't see CM Punk get treated that poorly by the fans, considering they gave him a big pop coming out, and they also gave, you know, did they give Punk some what chance? Yes, but they also did the same thing for Drew, the same exact way. When Drew was on him, they, you know, they, they, it's not like they cheered him beating CM Punk down. They were booing him, so I don't know. Maybe I'm seeing. I'll tell you who the fans were tough on. Today. I'll everything. tell you who they were tough on. Who? Well, first off, they weren't tough on Cody. It's been two years oh, no. now. They have not turned on him yet. No, they have they not. They love this guy. You deserve a chance. They're going crazy for him. So he's about to say that he's going to challenge Roman Reigns for the title at WrestleMania and finish his story. Let's get it official, he says. But then Seth's music comes out. And Seth says, I'm going to be real with you. If you choose to fight Roman Reigns, you're making a mistake. I think you should fight me instead. And the crowd broke into no chance. <laughs> no, no. So Seth had to try to come up with some. And Dave said he did like a great job. He lied. I mean, he, he lied. He did a good job trying that to put over the, the title. That is not the working man's I mean, title. It was handed to you. You talk about the guy who's got the silver platter title. That's what you got, buddy. Come well, on. The, the other thing is, I mean, he he tried and <laughs> all, but dusty like title. Cody's story. <laughs> Cody's story originally was I want the title that my father could never win. So now Seth is going, well, do you really want the title of Hulk Hogan? He goes, you want this, this working man's title that was formed like seven months ago. Your father's title. I was like, brother, come on. You ain't selling it on me. And he didn't Maybe sell it to I, the fans either. Back I, in I a moment. Observer motion life. pictures title. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.